Hello there YouTube, thanks very much for joining me, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to be having a look at the NV22 from Athena, um, which is a little side-by-side -side mod, I've not used or I've not had one of these before, um, and I, I, can't, I really like the look of them, I think they look cool, there's a fair few choices around these days, but I like them, I think it looks quite sweet. Now before we go into vaping on it and all that sort of good stuff, let's do, as we always do, we'll go down, have a look at it, and uh, come back and give you my final thoughts thanks very much indeed come on then okay so here we are up close with the athena and a little bit of juice on the box the nv22 is here now uh we've got a scratch and sniff on this side uh nothing on the ends this side tells us the color there's a whole range of colors that these little bad boys come in and then underneath you've got a bunch of information that you are more than welcome to uh, to uh, pause and have a read of that one. Uh, it does say do not use when charging, so pass through is not a thing on here. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, don't vape when you're uh, when you're breastfeeding apparently um, in a breastfeeding period. That sounds interesting. Now then, moving on, let's have a look here. We'll take the. Uh, the mod out in its little condom come into the thing now I know you can't see much at the moment but you will do in a moment we've got a reasonably thick uh, USB cable there for charging we've got a, a manual uh, going on this is in English and German I think it is um, just showing us a bunch of uh, oh no French there we go um, and uh, just showing us a bunch of information there. It tells us everything we need to know. This is a nice and simple mod, which I like the idea of. Uh, we've got a uh, kind of a, an Athena gold card looking thing there. That's, that's exciting, isn't it? Um, that's the only gold card I'm going to see for a while. Anyway, we've also got the warranty card as well, telling us a whole bunch of good stuff. Now, that repair coverage is interesting there. Um, you've got 45 days with original receipt. Uh, so there we go. Now, popping all this stuff away again for a second, we can get onto the mod itself. Take it out of the condom. Okay, so here we are with the Athena mod. The Athena NV22. Now it's a, it's an interesting little joey. It is a side by side, and as I've already mentioned, it's my first side by side thing, and I kind of like them. I do think they're kind of cool. Um, but uh, but we've got kind of a mottled silver effect here. We'll come to the uh, the cage for the for the atomizer in a second. We've got a quite a sort of a mirrored glossy kind of uh, fingerprint magnet screen going on there which we'll look at in a moment as well. NV22 in the bottom there, a nice and shiny fingerprint magnet on the top um, and a uh, super shiny fingerprint magnet on the bottom. I do like the sort of the high gloss chromey looking things, but they are a bit of a pain. Now it says a 0.05 temp control to uh, to 4.0 ohms, 5 watts to 75 watts. Now that is interesting. One of the things about this which I found interesting was the fact that it does a 0.05 in, uh, in temp mode, 0.1 in wattage mode, and 0.2 in voltage mode. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's really all you've got to worry about there. Now having a little look at the screen. Now, as I said, this is a nice and simple mod. You'll notice that we've got uh, M1 normal. Now, this isn't quite the same memory functions as we've come to expect with things like the SX and all that sort of stuff, which I'll go into in a second. We've got a puff counter. You'll see that's only on uh, that, that seven number because I recently reset it. Um, We've got the battery percentage, the wattage, and the resistance and voltage. So three clicks takes us into the menu, which is the flashing normal sign up here. Now, if we go up, we go into bypass, which is voltage mode. We go into temperature with Celsius. And we go into Fahrenheit mode. Um, after that, we're back into normal. 
Now, if you go into any of the temp control modes, you don't have the option of increasing or decreasing wattage. That is going to be down to the a mixture of the resistance of the coil and the temperature itself. So you are stuck with what you've got. And this is only working with NI200 as far as I'm aware at this point in time. So um, yeah, there is that. I don't know if this is ever going to be updatable um, or if, if software will come out with this, but uh, this has been out for a little while now and I haven't been aware of anything like that so far. Now, um, three clicks gives us this, uh, the flashing kind of um, temp thingy again. Now, I think if you hit the, uh, there we go, the up and down together resets your puff counter. Not entirely sure why we have puff counters these days, but they are there and I'm sure somebody likes them. Right, now we'll go back into wattage mode. The temp control is okay. It's uh, it's okay. Like I say, it works only in NI200. Um, and so you are a little bit restricted. Uh, regular viewers will know that I uh, generally, I prefer things like stainless these days. But, you know, if it, it kind of, it does what it says on the tin to some degree. Um, I find that uh, NI200 can be a little bit janky at the best of times. Now then. Um, I've got a Vapor Giant Mini here, which I'm going to use. Now, obviously, you've got to put, when you put a tank in here, you need something of a reasonable size. If I use this, oh, dropping things everywhere. If I try and use this little geometry tank from uh, from Grey Haze, then obviously that's not going to do any uh, anything clever at all because by the time you've screwed that in, you're not going to have anything poking out the top to wrap your lips around, misses. Now then. So the bishop said to the actor. Anyway, um, we've got the Vapor Giant Mini, which I've had uh, in here quite a lot because I think it works quite nicely. And because I'm a little bit sad, I like the fact that you've got the Athena thing there and the little Vapor Giant Mini Lego. I think it works. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, this does have a particularly long drip tip as well. But uh, but no, that looks quite useful to me. I'm quite happy with that indeed. Now you'll see that we've got air holes wise, we've got this one showing and this one showing. Uh, there is another one behind here. So air can come in down the side holes, uh, either side there and down the uh, the back. This isn't a super snug fit, uh, but uh, but yeah, you can, you can get that in there. No problem at all. As long as when you're vaping it, you don't cover the air holes up with your fingers. So you can hold it however you fancy. Um, you know, you can just have your uh, fingers either side of the air holes, which I've found to be kind of pretty comfortable. Um, it's just a different, slightly different way of holding your mod. If you want to do it so you're giving your friends a one finger salute, then you can do that as well. Evening. Right then. So uh, we take this out. Now, any reviews that I've seen out there, and I'm sure I haven't, I've only seen a couple of them, um, but you can use now, where is it? There it is. They've said that this is 22 mil only. Now, I've got this Hasta tank here, which is 23 mils, 23.3, I think it is. Um, and that actually goes in there nice and snug as well. So, um, obviously, if you do put a wider one, you are going to re restrict the airflow that can get around the back here. Luckily, this tapers in a little bit at the bottom, which helps. Um, and you will also notice that at the bottom there, where it connects on the 510, there are there is a slight gap. I've noticed this with a few atomizers, and as far as I'm aware, there is no way of uh, of stopping that. Um, but otherwise, you know, 23 and a half mil, it gives you a little bit more of a choice for um, RTAs or, or tanks that you're going to be popping in here. Now, looking at the 510 itself, uh, it's non-adjustable down there in the hole. Oh, there's my camera. Um, so you can't do anything about any gappage that happens. It is spring-loaded, although it is kind of... Um, let me see if I can get something in there to show you it moving. Um, there we go. Oh, no, that's not showing you. No, because you're looking on top, you can't see. It moves, trust me. Um but that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, that is the Athena NV22 up close. It's uh, I think it's quite a pretty little thing, really. And like I say, when I put my uh, 
uh, or when I've put uh, a number of tanks in here, I think it can look quite uh, quite functional and quite pretty. As long as you kind of get used to holding it uh, a very certain way, so you don't um, block up these air holes with your fingers. I think it's a, I think it's a sort of a comfy little mod, and because of its design, you don't really notice that gap unless someone really kind of looks for it. You know, um, that's it in my opinion. Anyway, the buttons are nice and clicky. This uh, this top one is a little bit funkier than the uh, the others, but it's uh, it, they're still they're still very clicky buttons there. Um, it has quite a nice quick ramp up time, no uh, no major gaps there, and you can flip the screen the other way as you can do with a lot of mods anyway. So if you're a righty or a lefty, you can use this happily. Right, let's go back up top. We'll have a little vape on it and a little chat. Away we go. So I did forget to say something on this one, which I found quite interesting. Um, now, if we look at this uh, Vapor Giant Mini that I've got in here at the moment, we can see that we've got a 0 0.74 resistance that I've popped in there, um, and it's been a very pleasurable vape. Now, if I go, if I hit the uh, the up button, if you keep your finger on it, it'll scroll through. Although you can click one at a time. Now that stops, that has been stopping off at 60, 61 or 62 watts, depending on um, what's uh, what's been going on or how warm the coil is, I think. It, and that, that has been kind of a, a bit of a strange one because if you then take that tank out and if I put this Hasta back in, for example, okay, now in there we can see that that is a 0.25 no, a 0 0.1, no, 0 0.22. Uh, coil in there, it's settled down at that now. Um, now, if I pop this um, up, so we can scroll through, let it do its thing. Oh, 75 watts. So it is going to be very much regulated by the type of coil that you've got in there. Now, just for confirmation on this one, let's pop in something that doesn't really fit, but... It's the only thing that I've got near or close to hand that's in here. Now this is the uh, the Kanga CLT tank. Now screwing this in here just to get the connection sorted out. Okay, so in here it's a 0 0.57, should be around 0 0.6 mark. Now if I put my finger on the up button, let it do its thing and there we've got 75 so it looks as though for um for certain resistances a little while ago it wouldn't let me go over uh 62 with this either which i thought was was interesting now let's take this down once again i am gonna have to find another tank now hold you on a second Da 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 Okay, let's pop in this uh this old tug tank business we've got here. I can't remember what coils in that. It's a good size though. It's a good size for the uh, for the mod. I like that. Um Okay, so point three eight if we go up, that should take us all the way to 75 again. Now we're going to come down for a second. And I'm just going to put the giant on there with the 0.74 in there one more time. Just in case the mod was having a silly five minutes. And 0 0.74. Let's go up. Let it let it do its thing. And sixty one. So yeah, I mean it's it's doing what it can do with the battery and the resistance uh, rather than so it's it's maxing out at what it can max out with. It's not uh, it's not uh, trying to do anything it can't do. So if you're going to want the the seventy five watts, then you will want to. In fact, I'll leave that one in there. Um, if you're going to want the seventy five watts, you will need to. Uh, to build kind of I'd suggest 0.5 and below um, to ma manage to get that all the way through but I thought that was an interesting thing to point out right now really this time let's go up top and talk <laughs> 
Alrighty then, so that was the up close and personal with the Athena. Now that resistance thing I thought was pretty interesting and something that you did need to be aware of. Um, I'm not entirely sure why you would have a higher resistance and want to put a lot of power through it because generally if you're kind of doing the 0.75, 1 ohm, 1.2, that kind of affair, then um, you're, you're usually going to be vaping at, you know, your, your kind of 14 to, to 20 watts level. So for that, I've got no, I've got no real issue with it uh, but I just didn't see anything about that on the uh, labeling or packaging so I wanted to make you aware of it now like I said I have been vaping on this quite happily and had a jolly good time 3200 milliamp hour battery means that uh, for sensible vaping you've got quite a nice uh, a nice sort of time scale that you can be vaping in there um, weight wise it's not the lightest it is quite a heavy mod uh, so you're not going to be popping it in your sort of in your shirt pocket unless you want a really droopy nipple. So otherwise, I've just I've liked it. Like I say, it's taken a bit of getting used to just to hold it so you don't uh, upset those air holes that are going in your tank. But once you get that, once you get to grips with that, it's a beast. This is not a quiet tank, by the way. The power delivery I've found fine. I've had no issues with thinking that it may or may not be delivering what it says it's delivering. Um, that I think has been absolutely spot on. So all in all, it's a it's a kind of a it's a jean friendly but not shirt or jacket friendly mod uh, that keeps everything together nice and easily. You've you've got your protection there over your tank as well, which I think is a nice touch. Um, I think these are going to be a real kind of uh, they're a Marmite mod, you know, it's, it's the sort of mod that you like the look of, then you're laughing. If not, then um, then you're not, you're not going to like it. Uh, but when, I ca when it comes to measuring the size of the tanks, as we saw, the tug, um, the, uh, the tug tank fit in there quite nicely. And just to give that a measurement so you can tell, that's about 45... 45 and a half mil high. So if you're looking at getting a super flush top to it, you, you're going to be looking at around a 45, 46 mil um, length in tank. Uh, obviously the Vapor Giant is, is taller than that, so it sticks out the top a wee bit. But it allows you to go into sort of a, a stealthier kind of vape if that's the sort of thing you want. Although it's still a reasonable width on the box. Now, um, is there anything else that I haven't told you? No, I think I think they were mentioning at one point that they were going to be doing updating software, but after looking on the Athena website, I couldn't see anything that showed uh, any level of updates. Uh, there has been a couple of revisions on the mod itself since it came out, uh, because I do know that it has been out for some time. Um, and this, I believe, is the most up-to-date version of it. Uh, it is spring-loaded 510 contact. doesn't say what it's made of. It looks like it's gold-plated to me. Um, and it's got your normal kind of protection. So high temp protection, short circuit, and low voltage protection. So you've got all that kind of those safety aspects in there as well. For me, I would suggest this is a mod for someone who likes their tanks, who wants something they can throw in the pocket or in the car or, you know, make sure it's nice and uh, and easily accessible and, um, and tidy. So just a tidy little kind of unit. Now, I have predominantly used this in wattage mode because as i said when it comes to temp limiting I, I personally feel i get the best results from uh stainless and i don't really like using ni200 these days so um for that like i say i personally have found it in wattage mode so for that uh, purpose i am all for it now because it's kind of a little bit of an old school style of mod some people are going to whinge about it that it doesn't do this that and the other and everything else but on the flip side of that, there's also a surprising amount of people that want just simple. They want to be able to throw their tank on there. They want to be able to vape on it and they don't want too much fannying around. And this certainly gives you that. Uh, now, the price from Grey Hayes, who sent me this for the purposes of review, uh, is currently at $49.99. They appear to have them in stock and color wise, they do have black, silver, red and blue, which uh, which all look kind of funky. I kind of like the blue one um 
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Athena NV22, which is a funky little old school style mod that uh, that you can do what you like with. But be aware, no nipple saggage in your jeans. Oh, is that an NV in your pocket? Are oh, you pleased to see me? <coughs> Make sure you go out there and have it large, people. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm fading. It's come to an end. I feel an obligation to start again. 